In this video, I'm going to show you how to install EMU Elec or RetroPie onto a Redaxa Zero. If you're interested in purchasing a Redaxa Zero, I'll leave a link in the description. It's going to cost you anywhere from $30 to $90 depending on the model you get. But in this example, we're going to need the model with the EEMC. So remember to get one with EEMC. Now here's the Redaxa Zero compared to a small single board uh, computer form factor such as a Raspberry Pi or Rock Pi. You could see it's much smaller. As for the specifications, I'll leave a link in the description where you can get all the information for the Redaxa Zero as well as put a video link to one of my favorite channels explaining computers where this gentleman explains in detail all about the Redaxa Zero. For this tutorial, we're going to need a couple things. One is a power cord. You're going to need to power through the USB type C power connector. You'll need a five volt, one amp power supply, and you'll plug it into that connector right there. You'll also need a USB hub type C 3.0 connector is what you have on the Redaxa zero. And you're going to need that for your mouse, keyboard, controllers, etc. You'll also need a micro HDMI for video out. Again, we're going to need the Redaxa Zero with the EEMC, so make sure you buy one with that. And then familiarize yourself with the USB boot button on the bottom. We're going to need to utilize that. Now I'll leave a link in the description for written steps on how to do this, so you can follow that if you would like. You will need this web page for downloads as well as some files that are required to complete this tutorial. Now let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to install a program called Zedig. Once you install it and execute it, you'll see a window come up like this. At this point, we're going to find that USB boot button. We're going to press it down and then we're going to plug in the Redaxa Zero. It's a little tricky pushing down that button, but you will hear it click when you press it down. If done successfully, you should hear a Windows chime, and then we're gonna to go to Options, List All Devices, and you should see the following options. We're gonna mirror all the fields in the Zadig menus to what you see on that screen, and then we're gonna install the driver. Make sure all those fields are exactly as you saw in the picture, and then install the driver. Once that is complete, we're going to go back to the web page and install an Android driver. You're going to download the file from the web page. You're going to unzip it. Open the folder. And you're going to install this file right there. Right click. Install. Once that is done, we're going to go back to the web page and we're going to download the Redaxa USB boot helper. You will find it right here and you're simply going to download it, then unzip it, access the folder, and execute it. Once done, you'll see a window open up for the boot helper. Once done, we're going to go to the link in the description where you'll find these files. We're going to download two of them. One you will definitely need and one you may need. Now you can go to the website and I'll explain all these files in more detail, but the one you're going to download first is the rzudiskloader.bin. After that, the file we may need is the redaxa zero erase eemc.bin. Later in the tutorial, I'll explain when you might need that. Now, once we have the rzudiskloader.bin file readily available, we're going to open up the boot helper. We're going to select that file. And then we're going to press run. Now, at this point, we're ready to image our EMU elec or our RetroPie. We're going to open up Etcher. We're going to select the file. 
which you're going to have to make sure you unzip the .gz file and make sure it's a .img file. We're going to select that file. And then we're going to make sure that the Redaxa 0 is the device that's selected to write to. Always triple check this. If your Redaxa 0 is not coming up and Windows is not recognizing it, this is where we're going to use that EEMC erase file. And we're going to run the boot helper again with that file. After doing that, Windows should recognize your Redaxa 0 in Etcher. We're going to flash the image, let it install and initialize. And once complete, we are done. At this point, you simply need to power up your Redaxa 0 and you should see EMU Elect boot up. Now, just a couple quick pointers. You're going to want to set up your Wi Fi right away by hitting the start, getting the main menu to come up, going down to network, and then you're going to go down to enable Wi Fi and turn that on. After that, you'll enter in your Wi Fi credentials and you should be connected to the internet. I like to SSH everything onto my Redaxa 0 and into EMU Elect, and now you'll be able to do that. Now also once hooked up to the Wi-Fi, you can go and download some themes, simply updates and downloads, choose some themes, and then go back to theme set, select your theme, and the theme will update. Now for those of you who like RetroPie, there is a image available to write to the EEMC on the Redaxa Zero. It is a very base image, vanilla-like, so to speak, but we thank our friend Monkablyat for putting this together. And if there is interest, I can make it available to you if you would like to have this. Just beware, it is not supported and you'll have to perform all the adjustments and work on your own. Well, that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching, leave a comment, and I hope this helps you get started with EMU Elect or RetroPie on your Redaxa Zero.